Hi, so this is a project from Udacity's Virtual Reality Nano Degree program where I am basically building a museum scene to talk about things in the VR industry or tools or cool stuff. So I decided to look at data visualization and VR. Um, and yeah, so this is my opening scene, which is a data tree. It's not a museum in literally the middle of nowhere. And um, yeah, let's just get started. It just looks at different ways um, and things being done in, in VR and data um, or ideas and just fun stuff. So let's get started. Um, we can look around this scene. It's really pretty and blue. And these are my waypoints, these little blue shiny things. And so on each branch is like a, is a scene. So this one is companies and data um, visualization. So let's just click there. So this is a quick scene. Um, basically all it is is you just sort of watch three videos on companies doing stuff in VR. So there's Virtualytics, there's Looker, and Nervink Labs. Really easy, you just click play. We all have data. Lots of data. Yes, multi and can work. If you look away, it pauses. And you can go back. Feel insights and trends to help make um, sort of the same thing for these two. You can just see like a little bit. Hi, my name is Will and I work on something called Looker. So, bored of that, then you move on. Bored of that, then you move on. So yeah, just a cool skybox over here. Um, you can go back to the data tree just by clicking over there. Yeah, so here we have... Um, Let's see, let's go back here, sorry. Um, let's go here to the next graph, or the next point. This is Explorer 3D Network Graph, let's go there. So we find ourselves in a 3D node graph, which I'm excited about because I just like them. You can see up there is a moving cube with a path that's being created. So, if you look at the instructions, it says to click on the nodes to move around the graph or click the Get Moving button to experience it, like moving with the moving node. I limited that experience to 30 seconds because it can get a little bit overwhelming um, and confusing. So, and because I'm using cardboard VR, it's sort of hard to stop stop the movement. So. Uh, let's, let's, let's move around the, the graph first. So for, you can actually move around just by clicking on the nodes, just like that. So look, we're like on the path, and you can like sort of go in, go back out, um, and follow, follow this if you'd like. Um, or you can come back here and let's click on the Get Moving option, which lets you experience the graph a little bit like a roller coaster. Um, So it's fun. Those particles over there are created so that I created them so that you could always look find find where you were. So yeah, so I cut that short. I kept it shorter than thirty seconds just so that for the sake of this video. But um, yeah, you get the hint. So that's that's the three D graph. Um, yeah, let's go back to our data tree. Awesome. So next scene is, uh, which is this one? Oh, I love this scene. Okay, music visualization. So I thought of a fun way to visualize different types of data with music. So on start, you're in this strange bubble. That looks cool, but we don't know what it is. So here are the instructions. Click that to get rid of it. So on the left here we have different instruments. So if I click, let's start with just the bass. The bass will start. Let's get the drums in there. See these white lines are drums.
so that's that. I love the fun of that. Um, when the music is all off, it gets back to normal. Uh, yeah, so that was fun. Let's go back to the baby tree. Cool. Um, cool. Okay, so I think we've got uh, two more scenes to look at. Um, we're going to speed through the next scene, um, which is just a create your own graph. So this one is really simple. Practice making your own 3D graph. So I made a 3D space. The yellows are waypoints to move around the scene. And basically just drag and drop. So you can move sphere, the sphere there, you can move this there. You move it anywhere. So the idea is to sort of like teach you how interactive it can be like to work with data on your own and not just have it presented to you. Um, yeah, that's that's about it for this one. Um, the idea is that you think of what your axes mean, what is what do like different sizes mean as well. So technically, you could have four different you could have four different displays because you have an x-axis, a y-axis, a z-axis, and you can account for shape and size um, of your objects. So let's go back to our data tree. And then last but not least, this is my personal favorite scene, which looks at women in science. And it's a little, well, I would say roller coaster, but it's kind of slow for roller coaster. Uh, so this tells you to go, let's go on a journey about the history of women in science and technology. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited about this scene particularly because um, particularly because I made everything from scratch. So I'm just proud of this one the most. Um, and I love anything that supports women in science. So here we go, we have this railway in the middle of nowhere again. Left axis is year, incline is percent of STEM professionals that are women. So here in our first stop we have Marie Kunitz, who was an astronomer. So let's learn more about her by clicking learn more. And it'll just flip and give you a little brief description of Maria Kunitz, who's pretty awesome. Click next stop and we'll continue going. And Emile Duchalet. Um, I mean, I would love to read everything out for you guys, but I want to keep this video as short as possible. So we just keep going. Um, now it's a different stop in the year 1800. We're looking at Rachel Bodley. And let's keep going. Um, and this is Maria Mitchell. And we'll just keep going. Moving into present day, and the rate of women in science is increasing. So that's awesome. So now we look at us. Um, and in our decade, or, you know, well, no longer decade. Um, next stop. And in 2050, we envision it be 50 50 percent. So if you're going to your trip, you can play again, or you can go back to day to day. And there we have it. We are back here. Get started again. You can go and check out any of the other scenes all over again. Um, yeah, that, that's sort of what I made. I'm really excited about it. And there's definitely a lot of things that I think can be improved on. But that's just, these are all sort of demo scenes. Uh, not meant to be super um, in-depth. But yeah, okay, cool. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And feel free to reach out if you have any questions or suggestions.